welcome back to the channel. So today I've got the 2024 M3 Comp Edition, the G80 chassis. This is finished in individual Cinnabar Rot or Cinnabar Red. So this was a color that was on the 50RA M3, one of the five colors you could choose from. This represents the E30 era. And now it's made available on several vehicles. So it was exclusive to that 50RA M3, I think it was model year 23. But let's go over what we got here. So again, this is for store inventory. And it's unusual that we're getting store inventory M3s uh, for customization in terms of individual colors. So I had to take shelter from the rain that's off and on right now in downtown Mountain View. But we've got our laser lights, shadow light lights as well. Then over in the middle, we've got our parking assistance package, which is normally what we'd spec on vehicles. M3 badging in the grill. Again, this is going to be slightly revised for the model year 25. That's already been announced for the M4. So let's move over to the side. So we got the 826M wheels with the black M compound brake calipers. Unfortunately, and not a tire lottery win. So this one's got the pearly P0s on it. But black compound brake colors look pretty good against Cinnabar Red. It goes with a theme that we have here with the red and black. There's a side view, and unfortunately, can't get it out in the sun or even daylight right now. It's basically pouring rain right now. All right, so out back. Got our M3 competition badging in high gloss black. And our quad exhaust and our faux diffuser, all in high gloss black. The tips aren't, but they're black tips. Gurney flap here in high gloss black. Of course, the standard M carbon fiber roof. There's that three quarter view. I'll make our way to the side here a little bit more lighting for the M3. We're going to make our way inside, go over pricing and options on this M3 comp. There are mirror caps as well. All right, so opening up, we have the black extended merino leather. Now, of course, with a red color, you can go with Silverstone, which would be a really good choice. Ivory white or Tartufo, I think with all work really well, but we went with a safer route with the black leather. Our standard M seat, M3 badging that lights up conveniently in the garage now where you can see the light up effect. But pretty well bolstered and comfortable seats. Of course, my preference would, would be for the carbon buckets. And you do have adjustments here for the side bolster and lumbar support, which you do not get with the carbon buckets. Then M3 badging on the door sill. All right, so the inside, your standard M steering wheel red M1, M2 buttons. And the trim here is the aluminum uh, rhombus anthracite. I think that's right. Uh, which means you don't get the carbon fiber shift paddles. Heated steering wheel. Let's see if I can get the light on in here. Then M stitching. And in front of me, I drive 8M version with M mode sport enabled. And you've got the heads-up display, the rest of the curved display, and the aluminum rhombosyl anthracite trim. And then we've got our interior lighting or ambient lighting set up to, I think it's Azure. And the rest of your trim here, covering up the cup holder and wireless charging pad. Then you got your gear selector with the embossed M emblem and M stitching. All right, so starting price, the M3 Comp is $80,200. Cinnabar Red, another 4,500. Leather included. Parking assistance package for 700. Exec package for 1,700. Shelling lights for 300. Lasers for 1,000. All told, MSRP of this particular example, $89,395. Right, so we'll go ahead and hop in the back seat. All right, so I'm curious to see what happens. Uh, technically, I guess it won't be an LCI, but eventually these. Uh, comfort access on the rear doors will go away. All right, so opening up, we got our 
black leather, which goes well with the calipers. All right, so here's the view of the cockpit from the back seat. I do have the lights on right now because it is a little bit dark. Climate control zone back here for the rear passengers. Knee room, leg room, I know it's a little bit hard to see, but get the light on there. Pretty good. And then headroom really is an issue in the M3. One more view. All right, so move into the back. Again, we don't have kick to open on the M2, M3, M4. So you have to open it the old-fashioned way. All right, and here's the cargo area, which is pretty decently sized. Then we do have a little extra room so you can fold down those rear seats with those latches right there. No extra storage below. Do have a cargo net on the side for some of the stuff you want to hold, perhaps. Then with the exact package, you do get a powered tailgate. Just don't have kick to open and kick to close. All right, and we'll make our way to the front, pop the hood, and take in Cinnabar Red. Put a little bit more light on it, seeping through some of the windows here. All right, so underneath the hood is the S58 N96 3 liter twin turbo engine, 503 horsepower, 479 torques. So I've said it before, it's a fantastic engine. And I imagine for model year 25, with like its civil VM4, the X drive version will get an extra 20 horses. So it'll be up to 523 horsepower. But again, it's really overkill, it's got plenty of power. But that's it for a quick tour around another individual M3, and we'll see you at the next video.